Hi, welcome to the Nine Miles review of the As Seen on TV product, Shadazzle. All right, before we get started, um, please subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to buy the products featured in my videos, just go to my website, ninemiles.com, and click on the As Seen on TV graphic. And please support my content if you'd like. It's Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com slash nine miles. And you can support my com content for as little as $2 a month and you get free gifts. And a lot of the uh, things that I review in my videos, I'll give away for free with uh, support. So let's get started on the review. And this is Shadazzle, as you can see. It's a multi-purpose cleaner and polish. If this actually works, it's, it'll definitely be something that I use, but you can polish silverware, stainless steel, uh, tile, which is something I think is cool, chrome, uh, glass, copper, fiberglass, and more. It's natural and biodegradable. All right, and let's just uh, go through the things again. Uh, silverware, copper pots, chrome and brass, stainless steel, aluminum wheels, acrylic, tile, windows and shades, outdoor furniture, barbecue grills, pools and jacuzzis, boats and RVs. Shadazzle is convenient to use almost anywhere and leaves a protective coating without dulling surfaces. It has a pleasing lemon fragrance and contains no harmful chemicals or phosphates. All right, so it's a multi-purpose cleaner and polish. I'm gonna open it up real fast, see what it looks like inside. So, um, there it is, it's, it's cracked, it's kinda, it got all over the uh, the dust got all over the uh, um, this uh, surface right here, the counter. Um, but here it is, and we're gonna try it out. All right, to use, all you want to do is uh, apply a wet sponge to, to a shadazzle paste, lather, clean, then rinse with clean water and dry it with a cloth for best results. After use, let Shadazzle paste dry before closing the container. Always test color test on non-visible part prior to use. Uh, natural and biodegradable components such as clay, soap flakes, green soap, and mineral oil. Non-toxic and contains no phosphates. It will not harm skin and is kids safe, which is kind of cool. Alright, so I got the perfect thing I'd like to polish. And it's my toaster right here. So I'm just going to get a close-up of that. And I'm going to try one side of it. I'm wetting the sponge right now. But as you can see, there's spots all over this toaster. It definitely needs to be polished. I'm going to get a little bit of this shadazzle and start kind of lightly polishing the stainless steel here. Now if you did this at home you definitely definitely want to color test. I'm kind of just being reckless and doing it. But look at that. Look at You can always already see it's cleaning for sure. Uh, I'm gonna get a, a rag right here. Alright. Just need something to wipe it off. All right, it's looking a lot better actually. All right, let's try it again. Just down here needs it especially. There's some dark spots on the stainless. And it does have a nice pleasant lemony scent. I do like the smell. All right, and I mean, you can definitely tell it's working because, it, I mean, stuff's coming off. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it definitely cleaned the surface. Uh, it does look a lot better than it did. Let's try this side. All right, the sponge is getting dirty, absolutely. And that came out very, very shiny. Very nice. Very impressed with that. So I'm just going to continue cleaning this and I'll test some more products like tile 
and uh, then I'll make a conclusion if it's uh, something you should pick up or not. All right, so I just want to show you the final results, but it looks a ton better. This is really quite impressive. It's nice and shiny. Didn't ruin the surface of the toaster. All right, so on to the next. Okay, so next I'm going to polish some kitchen tile here and see if I can get it to look shinier. Or granite, I guess. Alright, you see a little bit of dirt. So, eh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, it did clean a little bit. You can see it on the uh, the pad. Um, it's hard to tell. Not drastic like the stainless. Uh, so let's move on to bathroom tile. All right. So next, let's do one square of tile, bathroom tile. Uh, one thing I don't like about this stuff is it it flakes off. And this container just gets everywhere. Uh, it kind of falls out, and it doesn't stay. You know, it's it just flakes off. So it's really kind of annoying. All right. So here's some tile. Let's see if we can get the grout too. And you can see a little bit of dirt on the uh, sponge. Um, wipe it off and it's you know it's not that dirty to begin with um, but it, you know it does look a little bit cleaner very hard to tell but you know it is cleaning I mean you saw that with the stainless steel so uh, kind of mild results it weren't really too dirty to begin with it definitely didn't get the grout all right so let's go on to uh, pots and pans all right so we have our dirty pot right here our, our pan actually and uh, I'm going to put some shazazzle on the sponge and obviously it's a little dirty alright and you can see it's a little bit got off a little bit of dirt there wipe it out and look at that it is night and day. That definitely, definitely cleaned it out. Looks great. Did an excellent job. Except for there's a little bit, bit of caked on uh, stuff right there. Uh, probably could get it if I had a better scrubber. But you can see the shine there. It definitely cleaned. Very cool. Very impressed with that. Okay. So what else can we clean? Huh. Let's... Uh, Let's try, actually, I wanted to try, I know this isn't listed as something that you can clean, but this wood has stains in it, and it's had stains in it in a while. I've tried multiple As Seen on TV cleaning products, and when I read on the sponge, actually, it's just, dirt is just coming out of this uh, rag right here. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so, you see this spot right here? Let's see if we can get this better on the camera. But there's rings that I've been trying to get out with different cleaners. Let's try this. I know it's not listed as a use, but let's just see. All right, that's not coming out. That's too bad, but it didn't really list wood as a use. Just wanted to try just to see. All right, so finally for my ultimate test, I have some outdoor furniture. It listed this as one of its uh, one of the things that cleans really well. Um, so I'm going to try outdoor furniture. I'm just going to do a small 
success and you can see it's coming off very easily, very well. Definitely cleaning this chair right here. So obviously it's very, very dirty, but you can tell that it is working. It is cleaning. It's just, it's almost down to the white. So, it is cleaning outdoor furniture. And you can see, it's almost 100% white right there. So, do I recommend the Shedazzle right here? The answer is definitely. This is a really cool product. Um, the retail, at least at the store that I went to, is listed as $9.99. I got it as $4.99, so I definitely wouldn't pay more than $4.99. I think this is worth $4.99. It's going to last you a while, but uh, it's a good product. Like I'm, I'm actually really impressed. So uh, once again, I do recommend the Shedazzle. All right, so thanks for watching my Shedazzle review, and uh, visit 9malls.com, click on the Amazon banner, uh, visit patreon.com slash 9malls to support my content from $2 a month, and once again, please subscribe. All right, well, thanks for watching.